Now the cherry does be in the cake, but this 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 cherry on top of the cake. Oh, it's not my cup of cake. <laughs> Hi, my name is Giselle and today I am tasting other Trini Mom's black cake. Black cake is the Caribbean and this one especially is a Trimbagonian version of I think what was a Christmas pudding, but better. Normally the fruits are soaked from Christmas to the next Christmas in rum and wine and you know all kinds of liquor that you can find in your cupboard. We like our rum too bad. <laughs> So some people might know it as rum cake, but the difference is that we soak the fruits in molasses and that gives it that really dark, rich color. So hence the reason for the name black cake. If somebody hands you a black cake as a gift, you know that's somebody special because the process of putting it together is real. It's no joke. It is a moist, dense cake. So it can't be dry. But it doesn't crumble like a cake. It has more of a smoother, melt-in-your-mouth kind of taste, so. Yeah, I would like it to be light, but I know that traditionally it's dense. It's gonna be a hard one for me to judge because if the traditional dense one comes, then, you know, that's how it's supposed to be. The cake that I've made, the fruit's been soaking actually for about four weeks. I made myself a little kind of spice rum to kind of lace on the top. So because it's not my speciality, I was really careful with this cake. Like even to the point where I put like a tray of water in the oven to create a mist. That's how much love I put into this cake, you know. I don't do that for anybody. <laughs> Looks good, generous, quite dark as it should be. I like only put a little piece of cherry on top. <laughs> now the cherry does be in the cake but this, this, this cherry on top of the cake. I can see there's a lot of fruit in it. Ah, I can smell the alcohol in this one. Hey, some people just put a whole bottle of rum in the, in the cake. <laughs> it does look moist. I can see that it's moist and they've soaked it with, with extra rum. Yeah, this person real soak it. Again, that's another reason why it's so dense as well, because it's got a lot, a lot of liquid in it. It does feel quite dense going through, but that cake can be dense. Mm. Oh, a lot of mixed essence or something. Is the consistency. It's not my kind of consistency, to be honest. It is um, quite dense, more than I would have expected. But still, you know, it's black cake. The rum is definitely in there. There is uh, some alcohol coming through, not a whole lot, but you don't need it to be really, really boozy. I think that's overkill. I don't know if, if all the fruits was like blended in, so that's why it's kind of like smooth, which nothing wrong with that either. But yeah, the, just the consistency is, is, cause it's like even cutting into it as well, it's hard. It's not soft and like a cake. I probably won't go for it again. It is too dense, almost to a chewy point. So I don't like the, text, the texture of it. And there is a flavor of maybe too much essence or too much nutmeg in it. I'm sure you, you worked really hard on this cake and tried really hard with this cake, but for me, it's not my cup of cake. <laughs> so I will score this a three. Yeah, I'll give this a, a four. Well, the difference with my black cake to other people's black cake is that my black cake is more spongy. It sits in the middle of that balance of not being too airy and light and not being too dense and heavy. So it's just in the middle. It's packed with lots of fruits and lots of um, really tropical flavors. So I think my black cake definitely is the best. Yeah, I think this is a light fruit cake rather than a Trinidadian or Trinbagonian black cake. It's a little more on the crumbly side. I can see that already. It has more of a spongy texture, which is good if it were a light fruit cake. I, I like the texture. It doesn't have a glossy t um, top, so that's the only bad side. Oh, wow. I just wouldn't call it a black cake. I would just, just uh, call it a fruit cake, a, a cake with fruits in it. Nice fruit, nice texture. It's actually a really nice cake, but it's not a black cake. Black cakes are like a speciality cake. So you're bringing in, you know, the fruits that you've been marinating. The fruits haven't been marinated. So I can see that already. The fruits are just like, you know, she bought them yesterday and put them in, but they haven't been soaked in anything, like anything. They've just been added. You need to have them that heavy consistency of fruit, not dense to the point where you can't break it, but it's essentially a good sponge with some fruit mixed in and some color. I really like it though. <laughs>
because if this was a competition for a fruit cake, this would win. But if it, as this is a black cake competition, it doesn't pass the, the test. Because it's not a black cake, I'll have to give it three. I'll probably give this a six. So I've used the traditional fruits. There is a walnut in it, some almonds as well, two types of uh, cherries in there, little extra flavor as well. I think making the brown in from scratch as well helps. Uh, there's a different flavor from the shop-bought one. Seeing that it's really just dry fruit and a cake batter, it's not hard to get it right, I think. Lovely, lovely presentation. This is, this is a good mum, man. I love it already. This is the density of the black cake, which I was trying to describe earlier and talk about. I love this smell. I could smell the aroma of the fruits coming through, which is really nice. I can see already that she's kept some of the fruits whole. So she's probably blended some of the cake and the fruits and then kept some of it whole. I love how glossy the top is and she's put a nice cherry on top. I could smell, I could smell a hint of the alcohol there as well, which is really good. And I could see it has a lot of fruits in it. It's definitely moist. It's probably leaning on more the pudding side which is fine see it's like it's more like a pudding <laughs> instead of a cake yeah this is a traditional black cake <laughs> this is more puddingy in texture but i i like that this feels like a real nice homemade cake you know the the mixed fruits is there they put some nuts in there as well which is cool i could see like um walnuts on the side here the raisins the cherry so yeah it's all it's all in there I like it personally a little bit smoother, but I appreciate the texture with the whole sultanas and raisins. The alcohol, I'm not really tasting it that much. Usually black cake is rum cake, so you know, you're supposed to get the alcohol flavor coming through. It could be black cake, it's a black cake, but you know, it could be like, you know, a bit darker. I think this is what by any standard people consider a good black cake, even though it's, you know, not how I like mine, but I would say it's good, so I'd, I'd give it a seven. I will give this a nine. Oh, wow. So I am actually a bit surprised about that because it's not my favorite thing to make. However, I can appreciate a good black cake because my mom makes the best. Now, that's understandable, it's fine. I can take that, I can take that. Like I said, cake is not my thing. I'll go back to the drawing board and I'll try again. No, I can't believe it. I cannot believe that my black cake lost honestly like compared to all the rest i really think it was the best but you know it is what it is i accept it but i still know mine was the best anyway so you know 